Uh, namaste, dear students, and let me welcome you to our uh, English class. Today, we are going to learn about, can you guess? Yes, you are right. Today, we are going to begin our Unit 12. And under this Unit 12, there is expressing ability and inability. We'll talk about that one later on. Today, we are going to talk about universal etiquette. So, dear students, can you guess what is universal uh, etiquette? Well done. Uh, later on, we'll talk about that one. See, generally, you can understand universal etiquette, which you have already told me. See, it means universal, U-N-I, U-N-I-B-E-R-S-A-L, universal behavior, B-E-H-A-B-I-O-U-R, behavior. Dear students, see, universal etiquette means you can understand as universal behavior. So can you guess what can be universal behavior? All right. For example, we can say uh, to be clean. So if we do any sort of activities to be very neat and clean, that can be universal etiquette. If we love our juniors, if we respect our seniors, you know, that comes under universal behavior. So we are going to talk about these things later on, you know. Before that one, i just like to ask you uh, a question. So now you are in your teenage, you are in your society. Now can you tell me by what sort of things you are impressed with? By what sort of things you are influenced with? Can you tell me? For example, you just like to watch, let's say, movie, okay? While watching movie, they what are the things, or you can say, what are the factors that influence you? Yes, that can be celebrity, okay? C-E-L-E-B-R-I-T-Y, celebrity. Or you can say actor or actress. So I think you will be influenced by the activities done by an actor in the movie, in the film. For example, you are in your teenage, you can find uh, nowadays in your society also, many of the teenagers are involved in smoking. So why it happens, you know, because they are influenced by the actors, okay, while they are watching the movie. Likewise, there are some other factors. Can you guess what can uh, be the factors that influence us? Good. That's good, students. See, you are saying that celebrity, that can be friends you have already said, okay? So we are influenced by our teachers, which you have said, that's good. Likewise, there can be other factors that we are influenced by such things. Dear students, now I just like to show you a slide. See whether they are similar to your guess or not. Whether they are similar to your answers or not, all right? Dear students, let's look at the slide. For example, you, look at, uh, you are in the society, now you are influenced by so many factors, okay? You have already guessed also. Now I just like to show you, see, what can be a factor that I am going to show you? See, society, you are in a society, and how can you be influenced by the society, you know? Because there are so many persons in the society, and whatever activities we do, we do in our society. So society is very important for us because we can learn whatever from the society, okay? That's why society is one of the major factors that we are influenced, okay? So next you can guess the factor C. What can it be? Look at. It can be friends. Now you are in your teenagers. I have already told you that. At this time, we just like to give our company with our friends. And whatever they do, we like to imitate. We like to copy, you know. That's why we'll be influenced by them also. So friends, another important factor. Next, you can guess. So what is it? OK, that is teachers. You go to a school, you observe your teachers, and you try to imitate their behaviors. You try to imitate their way of speaking, way of dressing, you know. So teachers are also another important factors to influence, okay? So next you can see that is parents. See, 
you are at your home and whatever we learn, we learn by our parents. And generally, if our parents involve in smoking, if they smoke, you know, if they involve in gambling, at that time, we may follow their path. We may imitate them. We may copy them. So broadly, you can see there are four factors. So one, society, another, friends, another, teachers, and another, parents. Okay, so these are the factors that influence us in our behaviors, all right? So next, I just like to show you, my dear students, I just like to show you a picture, see? What do you see there? Before and after. You can see before, what is there? Nothing, okay, I am going to show you, see? You can find there are two pictures. So what is the difference between those two pictures? Can you tell me? Good, the first picture is very sad. Okay, and the second picture is very happy, good. So you can guess now, why do you think the first picture, the man in the first picture is very sad? Can you tell me? See, for this you can look at another slide. What are the reasons of his sadness? Dear students, now can you guess some of the reasons why the man in the first picture is sad? Okay, tell me, I just like to note it down on the board. You can say, Maybe it can be what? That person uh, is lazy. Maybe, next point, maybe you can say unpunctual, P-N-P-U-N-C-T-U-A-L. Next thing, next point you can say reason. Maybe, maybe you can say that person does not do any physical exercise, lack of P-H-Y-S-I-C-L, physical exercise. Now one more you can tell me. What can it be? If we don't do any cleanliness, or you can say, if we are dirty, see. Good, dear students, you have told me, see, this can be the reasons of being sad, you know. So laziness, unpunctuality, lack of physical exercise, and our dirtiness. So I just like to show you the next slide and you can guess what might be the reasons of his sadness, okay? So <clears throat> you can find the man is sad. Now you can see reasons of his sadness. So what can be the first reason? See, dear students, what is written there? Read it once, please. Good. Improper ways of eating or sleeping. Do you know that always we have to follow, always we have to take very hygienic food. And there should be a balanced diet. We need to have carbohydrates, we need to have proteins, we need to have minerals, we need to have fat, you know. That is what we call balanced diet. At the same time, we should have proper way of sleeping. Suppose we have to sleep for our enough time, you know, we have to take a rest also. So these things play a key role in our life to be very happy. So what is the reason, what is one of the reasons that you can find of his sadness? So it is, read it once again please, improper ways of eating or sleeping. Good. Now what can be the next reason, see? Okay, uh, let me show it to you. Lack of physical exercise. Dear students, how many of you spend time in doing your physical exercise? Mm -hmm. I don't believe. Generally, we don't give even five minutes time in a day for physical exercise. See, do you get up early in the morning? Do you allocate your time for physical exercise for our mental and physical healthiness? See, that is another reason. So what we have to do, if we want to be very healthy, if we want to be a successful person, you know, we need to do physical exercise. If we don't do physical exercise, then we seem to be a lazy person, okay? We don't like to do any sort of works. And if our mind, if our body is not healthy, then we cannot perform our activities very well. That's why another reason of our sadness is lack of physical exercise. Next uh, reason, you can guess, what can it be? So let me show you, this is improper way of dressing. So dressing or dress up also plays very important role in our life, plays a very important role, do you know? Suppose if you go to a swimming pool, you have to use a kind of dress. If you go to play football, then you need to wear another type of dress. If you go to your school, you have another type of uniform. 
If you go to a party, then you have another type of dress again. Do you know? So we have to properly use our dress. And there is a way of uh, using dress also, okay? So we have to follow the code of conduct of our dressing also. If we can't do that one, that also makes us very sad. That can be another reason. So can you guess another reason, my dear students? Well, let me show you again. On punctuality in activities, see, <clears throat> we people are very clever, you know. So we don't like to do any type of work in our time. That is what we call on punctuality. If we don't reach our school in time, if we don't complete our work in time, you know, if we go to our party in time, if we don't follow the time very strictly, then we become unpunctual. So if you are unpunctual, unpunctual one, every time you have to make a pretext. You have to speak a lie. You have to tell something to your concerned persons or big, uh, for the reason of your unpunctuality. That also lingers our success, all right? That's why uh, another reason of our sadness is unpunctuality in activities. So what can be another one? Let me show you. Besides this, we have some, see, physical suffering and social activities, okay? So these are also the reasons of our sadness. So let me show you the first one, impolite speech. Suppose if you don't speak very politely with the people at that time, those people may not like you. Uh, at that time, there can be a problem between you and those people, and that creates a kind of rupture. That creates a kind of, uh, let's say, conflict, you know, and that makes us unhappy. That makes us sad. Next you can see, can you guess? Next you can see ill temper. So we should not be angry, we should not be sad very quickly, okay? So always the situations are not favorable to us. Always the circumstances are not under our control. At that time also, we have to control our anger. If we can't do that one, then in our anger, we can make a decision. And that decision may not be good. That's why ill temper is another reason of our, so uh, let's say, sadness. Next, see, irresponsibility towards a given assignment. For example, what does it mean? Well, for example, if your teacher has given you an assignment, at that time, you try to put your best effort. You try to complete it in time. You have to be very sincere. You have to be very responsible. Otherwise, you cannot get a success because your teachers or the concerned people cannot correct you. They cannot look at your work and always you will be backward because you cannot evaluate yourself. That's why another important, let's say, reason of our sadness is irresponsibility towards a given assignment. Okay? What can be the next one? See, bad behavior. So we are the human beings. Do you know it or not? And it is said that we are the most intellectual animals in the world, in our society, in comparison to other animals. That's why we are expected to show our good behaviors. But if we show our bad behaviors, if we you know, uh, use uh, vulgar words, if we fight with our friends, if we don't keep a good relationship with the people in the society, you know, at that time we will always get a problem. And that problem makes us again very sad. That's why bad behavior is another reason of our sadness. Now, I just like to show you another slide, another, pro let's say, uh, reason. So what can be the next reason? Economic problem related to money. For example, you want to do your assignment, but you don't have necessary materials. For example, that can be a pen, that can be a notebook, or that can be a chart paper, you know. And when you go to your school, at that time, the teacher does not understand you. And at that time, if you can, can't tell it very frankly to your teacher, at that time, you may get a problem, okay? So economic condition also plays a key role to be a sad person, all right? Next can be laziness. See, how active are you? At your home, at your school, or whenever you are on the ground to play any type of game. See, laziness is another reason. For example, if you can't uh, perform very well on the ground, at that time your friends don't like you to involve you in the team for the next time. They may not uh, be uh, ready 
to adopt you as a teammate also. That's why laziness is another reason to be sad. Next, you can see distraction. See, I have already told you, my dear students, you are in your teenage. So m you may not be able to concentrate on a particular topic for a long time. Because this is the age, in this age, most of the time, we like to imitate negative things, you know. I have already told you that. When you watch a movie, at that time, you may forget the positive part of the hero. But at the same time, you may, use, uh, you may learn to smoke. You may learn to consume alcohol, see? So these sort of things should be stopped if you want to be happy. But if you follow, if you distract from the main point or from the main lesson, at that time, we'll get a problem. And that problem always creates a, let's say, a sadness in our life. Next, what can it be? See, jealousy, enviousness. For example, if our friends or someone, you know, does very good, and if we always become jealous, and if we don't try to do that type of work, if we don't try to, uh, to be better than that person, then that always pushes us backward, you know. So jealousy, enviousness, and the reason of our sadness. Uh, dear students, so these are the reasons. These can be the reasons, or you can add some more other reasons if you have realized in our life if you have seen in your society, you know. But generally, these are the reasons that make us unhappy. Or you can say that make us sad in our life. Is it clear, my dear students? Well, now you can see another slide. What are the reasons of his happiness? I have shown you two pictures, the first picture and the second picture one. The first picture is sad, and I have already explained you about the reasons of being sad in our life, you know. Now I am going to show you why the man in the second picture is very happy, okay? So can you guess what can be the reasons of being happy? Yes. So you can tell me, for example, well, it can be, you can say, generally you can say, if we are punctual, P-U-N-C-T-U-A-L, punctual. If we are active, if we are clean, another, good. It can be, let's say, if we do physical exercise, P-H-Y-S-I-C-A-L, physical exercise. It is both mental and physical, you know, and some other points. You are very good. Now, I just like to show you the slide, whether they are similar to your or not. Let me show you. See, what is written there? What are the reasons of his happiness? Whose happiness? See, this second picture. That person is very happy. Do you know? So what can be the reasons of his happiness? Let's talk about. Can you guess what can it be? See, reasons of his happiness following universal etiquette. I have already told you that there are some common behaviors. All the people are expected to do in the world, you know. For example, I have told you punctuality, not only in Nepal, but also in America. Not only in America, but also in the UK. Everywhere, people have to be very punctual. Okay? So if we are very punctual one, we can complete our work in time. And at that time, that makes us very happy. So likewise, cleanliness. Wherever you go in the world, you have to be very neat and clean. If we live in the dirty environment, if we are dirty one, at that time there is a chance to be suffering from different types of diseases. At that time we can't be very happy. So these common things, common behaviors are called universal etiquette. And briefly I just like to show you in the slide. See, so what can be the first one? You can read it, cleanliness, good. Wherever you are, at your home, at your school, or in your surrounding, wherever you are, you have to maintain your cleanliness. You have to be very clean. Personally also, you have to be very clean for your hygienic lifestyle, for your healthiness. Then only you can be very happy. Next you can see politeness. So, if you show your politeness, everyone loves you. Everyone wants you. And those things helps you to do something in your life. They promote you, they encourage you, and then you can go ahead. That's why politeness is another universal etiquette. You can see next one, punctuality. If you complete your task, or if you reach to the particular place in time, then you become happy, because no one will shout at you. Okay, that's why punctuality, next one. Another one is that orderliness. Whatever you do, 
let's do properly sequentially another thing is that whatever you use the things and again you can keep in the particular place so that another person can use it for example if you read a newspaper and if you uh, keep wherever you like at that time maybe your father you may, maybe your mother cannot read that one she may not find the newspaper but if you read and if you fold and if you keep it very properly then again next person for example your father or your mother can again use that one okay so you have to follow such order in our life also next you can find organizing oneself and one's belonging so whatever the things you are using you have to keep them properly because we have to reuse them you know once we use again in the future we have to use them we will have to use them again because we need okay so our things belonging should be kept very properly and we have to have a habit of organizing them now i just like to uh, show you what is written there next slide the following are the daily habits that can change grumpy sad faces into smiling ones ray see i have already shown you two pictures the first picture the man in the first picture is very sad the man in the second picture is very happy now if you don't follow uh, good habits then always you have to be very sad in your life but if you follow good habits in your life then you will be always happy so i want to give you some of the ideas i want to give you some of the good habits if you follow them then you will be also happy okay you don't need to be very sad can you guess what can it be so i just like to show it from your textbook and the first you have to do is get up early in the morning there's a rhyme also uh you can say that early to bed early to rise makes a man healthy wealthy and wise it means that you have to complete your all the task then you have to go to your bed early so that you can in the morning also you can get up very early that's why we should not sleep for late morning okay so the first thing you have to do in your daily life as a good habit is get up early in the morning of course you have to at least sleep for 8 hours for our for your uh, physical and mental rest okay but at the same time you have to get up wake up early in the morning this is the first thing that you have to do so what can be the next one all right it can be make your bed dear students now you are in your teen teenage for example you might be 14 years 15 years or 16 years and i guess you are mature enough to arrange your bed sheet to arrange your pillow after you get up from your bed or do you want your mother to arrange that one that's not good if we tell to do this uh, task to the junior students maybe of let's say 5 or 6 years old at that time they can't do that one it may be not a good habit for them because they can't do that, this because they don't get any maturity to do this one but at your age you are mature enough and after getting up from your bed dear students you have to arrange your bed sheet pillow everything okay you have to make very neat and clean another good habit that you have to always do in your life next keep aside a thing that is not necessary for you but may be useful to others i have already told you my dear students for example if you have read a newspaper you have finished reading the newspaper don't throw it to a corner okay you have to keep it on the table so that your father or mother or brother or any member of your family can read that one that may not be useful for you okay because you have already used but same thing can be useful to other person okay that's why you have to keep your things very properly so can you guess dear students another uh, good habit that you have to do in your daily life let me show you then See, dress properly on all occasions like at home, for school, for party, etc. So wherever you go, for example, if you are at your home, then you have a kind of dress. At that time, we may not use very formal day dress, you know, we may not use very new clothes. But if you go to a party, then you should be very formal, you know. If you go to a swimming pool, you have to use swimming costume. If you go to your school, at that time you have to use your school's uniform, you know. That's why you have to dress properly according to the occasion. All right? 
So what can be the next one, dear students? You can see, arrange the belongings, things and appliances that you use, whatever the things you use in your daily life. Always keep them in a proper place so that you can use frequently, okay? So whenever you need them, you can find easily. You can use, and such things make you very happy. If you don't find the things at, at the time of your necessity, at that time you become very sad. So this is another way of being happy in our life that comes under a good habit, okay? Next, can you guess? Well, you can, you can read. You speak politely, show good manners, treat others, see. You speak politely, I have already told you that. If you speak very rudely, no one likes you. People may beat you, people may shout you, okay? But if you speak very politely, everyone likes you, that makes you very happy. You become, let's say you become beloved of everyone, dear to everyone. That's why you have to speak politely. So good manners, okay? You have to respect the seniors, you have to love the juniors, you have to complete your task in time, everything you have to do. Next one, treat others the way you would like to be treated by them. Suppose if someone teases you by your nickname, do you like it? Of course not. That's why you should not also call your friend by their nickname. You have to call them by their original name. So you should not do such types of behaviors that you don't like because other persons also don't like the same behaviors which you dislike. All right? So next, what can it be? Respect your elders and love your juniors. Very simple, see? If you see uh, elders in front of you, you can say namaste. So you have to show polite behaviors, respectable behaviors, okay? But if you find the juniors one, you have to love. You should not beat, you should not shout, you should not speak rude words, okay? That is another important thing, and you can be very uh, happy and successful person. Next. Complete given assignments on time and help out with uh, chores at home and at school. For example, your teacher has given you an assignment. If you don't complete that one, then tomorrow in the school, your teacher will shout at you. Your teacher may beat you also, but if you have completed your assignment in time, then your teacher pats you, you know, your teacher encourages you. Your, your teacher becomes very happy with you and he encourages you to go ahead. All right? That's why you have to complete your task on time. Next, find and adopt the good qualities of the ones who are around you. For example, there can be many persons in your society. Let's take an example of our film. I have already told you that if the hero smokes, then you should not copy that one. What type of good things done by the hero in the film, you have to follow that one. Don't you know? For example, if someone falls on the way and if the hero goes and helps to lift that person, you can follow that type of activity. So always you try to imitate, you try to copy good qualities from the people who are around you, all right? Then you can be a successful person, you can be a happy person, so it is very important. Next, you can see practice self-discipline like never waste food. Uh, you can see, see? Uh, practice self-discipline like never waste food, never tell a lie, never fight, never take intoxicants, etc. So discipline, see, if you are very punctual, if you speak very politely, if you complete your all the tasks, th those things come under discipline. So if you practice discipline, then you can be a successful person. If you don't practice, then you become indisciplined person and you can't do such things in your life. That makes you very sad. So you should not waste your food. Imagine a farmer puts a lot of efforts in order to produce that a grain of rice also. And there are many people in the world who don't get, or you can say, uh, let's say palm full rice to have. So we have to always respect our food. Never tell a lie. Sometimes if you are unable to complete your task, be sincere, learn sincerity. And your person, like teachers, fathers, or you can say parents, also show a kind of sympathy upon you. But don't tell a lie. Never fight. Fight does not bring any peace. Fight does not make us happy. That's why, why do you fight? Let's forget to fight. Never take intoxicants. Do you know the meaning of intoxicants? For example, you can say hashish, you can say like smoke, or, uh, smoking also, you can say alcoholic things, you know, never use such things, okay? Because those things always lead towards wrong path. Uh, they, promotes, uh, they promote us 
uh, let's say to do those sort of activities which create problem in our life. Next, you can see clean your body and your living place. Where, no, so you, sorry, you can see clean your body and your living place. Dear student, first of all, you have to give your individual cleanliness. Okay, individual cleanliness. Uh, take a bath regularly if possible. Otherwise, thrice a week or twice a week, you know, you have to do that one. And around, uh, you have to clean your surrounding also. So because clean environment, clean place gives us fresh idea we become very healthy one and we can be very happy. Next, can you guess? Next, you can see punc uh, punctuality. Be punctual. Whatever you are given to do, always try to complete in time. Reach your place in time. You have to do everything in your time, OK? So you become happy. Next, you can see do enough exercise, both mental and physical exercise. I have already told you, my dear students, in the morning, after you get up, do you do exercise? Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. At least you can uh, allocate 15 minutes time or half an hour, you know, or you can say 40 minutes. At least we have to do exercise. For mental exercise, you can do meditation. For our physical exercise, uh, very simple. In your house, for 10 minutes, if you do just skipping, you know, there can be a skipping rope. You don't need to buy it also. You can just use a rope, wasted rope also. And then you can use for your physical exercise. You can do push-up, very simple things you can do uh, as physical exercise, and you can be very healthy and successful. Next you can see, next you can see, reflect on your day and sleep on time. Suppose after you have your dinner, you go to your bed, and before sleeping, you know, you just remember your day. You just rewind your day, what you did throughout the day, and what you were supposed to do, what you did not do. And next day, try to correct. And whatever you did well, next day try to, uh, let's say, continue that one. So if you follow these, uh, let's say, good habits, then you can be a successful person, you can be a healthy, full, uh, sorry, healthy person, and you can be a happy person. Understood? If so, my dear students, if you follow those good habits, then finally what do you get? See. What do you see in the slide there? Success. That person seems to be a very happy person, healthy person, and successful person. So for that one, the conditions, see, if you follow these daily habits for at least a month, it will change your behavior and make you a successful, happy, and healthy human. So very good, you know? If so, my dear students, now I just like to tell you to turn the page number of your uh, textbook that is 138 and we are exercise number one. Enrich your vocabulary. Write down good qualities and bad qualities in the table from the text. So what can be the good qualities? Please enlist in your table. What are the bad qualities? Please write down in the next column and you can check. There can be uh, many good qualities. There can be many bad qualities of a human being. So I just like to see you. Please you write down in your notebook. Have you finished? Good. Then I just like to show you, you can tell your answers with me. See, what are the good qualities? For example, cleanliness. So what, is, uh, what are the bad qualities? See, cleanliness, dirtiness, punctuality, unpunctuality, politeness, impoliteness, responsibility, irresponsibility, orderliness, disorderliness, concentration, distraction, good temper, ill temper. See, these are the good qualities. You can add some more, OK? And these can be, uh, let's say, be bad qualities, and you can add some more. OK, my dear students? Now I just like to take you to exercise number two. See, exercise number two, tick the best meaning for the underlined words from the text. There can we see. Question number one, different facets of life create trouble. See, what is written there? Different facets of life create trouble and sufferings. So what can be the correct answer for this? What can be the correct meaning for the word facets? See, there uh, are three words, aspects, problems, and society. Which one is the correct one? Good, the correct one is aspect. Please uh, write it down in your notebook, OK? Question number two. Some of them are lazy, easily distracted, and envious too. See, some of them are lazy, easily distracted, and envious too. So what is the meaning of the word envious? You just guess. So why, what did you say? Yes, you are good. Jealous is the correct answer of this 
uh, envious, the word envious. Good, my dear students. Now, let me show you third question. There are, there are many ways to eradicate sufferings. So what is the meaning of the word eradicate? You can guess. Is this renew or remove or restart? Please guess it. Yes, you are very good. The right answer of the right meaning of the word eradicate is remove. You are very good. Next question, arrange the belongings and arrange the belongings and appliances that you use. So what is the meaning of the word appliances? Is this stationaries or analysis or equipments? Please guess it. Very good. The correct meaning for the word appliances is equipments. Next question, my dear students, reflect your day and sleep on time. What can be the correct meaning of the word reflect? Is this mirror or correct or forget? Again, you are very good because mirror is the correct meaning of the word reflect. So, my dear students, now I just like to uh, make you do another exercise that is question number two write good habit or bad habit for example question number one asking parents to make your bed and arrange your dress for example after you get up from your bed do you arrange the bed yourselves or you want your mother to arrange for you is this good habit or bad habit so guess it please write it down in your notebook yes good it is definitely bad habit so second question you have Cleaning, belo cleaning belongings and uh, appliances after use. So is this good habit or bad habit? Please guess it. Yes, it is good habit. After we use our appliances, belongings, you know, we have to clean our thing, okay? Next one, dressing up according to our mood. Is this good habit or bad habit? Suppose you are angry and you use the dress in that way. If you are happy, use the dress in that way. Is that correct or wrong? Uh, good habit or bad habit? See, you are right. This is bad habit. Next question you can see is eating how much we feel and wasting the rest. Suppose you eat, uh, you are given, uh, let's say, a plate of rice and you eat a little and rest of the, you uh, throw it or you waste it. Is that a good habit or bad habit? You can write it down in your notes. Yes, you are very good. Very correct answer. That is a bad habit. Next you can find showing sympathy and empathy to others. If your friend falls down, at that time do you laugh at him or her or do you go and try to lift him or her? At that time, at that time, is that good habit or bad habit? See, that is a good habit, okay? If you laugh, it becomes bad habit. But if you go and try to help your friend, it is a good habit, my dear students. Now next, the last question of this question number two. Making excuses for your faults. For example, you do mistakes, you do faults, you know. At that time, if you, uh, let's say, uh, if you uh, excuse. Is that a good habit or bad habit? Yes. Very nice. That is a good habit. Okay. My dear students, let's do question number three. Question answer. Okay. Read the text again and answer this question. The first question for you is, what are the four major problems of the students? You can guess. See, I have written the four major problems. The four major problems of the students are impoliteness, unpunctuality, ill temper, and bad behavior. My dear students, you can write some other problems also, okay? There can be other problems in addition to these. So question number two, how can these problems be solved? See, how can these problems be solved? List four ways. So what can be the four ways? You can write down your one, okay? And you can look at. These problems can be solved, see, by being polite, punctual, showing good temper and good behavior. Next question, my dear students. See, <clears throat> any three techniques, uh, sorry. Uh, write any three techniques. Write any, the question is missing there. Write any three techniques that you can apply to be happy, successful, and healthy. So what can be the three techniques? See, any three techniques I can apply to be happy, successful, and healthy are, see, getting up early in the morning. The next one is doing physical and mental exercise. Next one, showing good manners. So except these three techniques, you can write other also, okay? Next question, my dear students, write your daily habits. 
So what you do from your uh, time of getting up to your bed, see. I have written my daily habits are, see, I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, you know, I take my meal 9 o'clock, I take a bath, uh, let's say thrice a week, you know, so you can write down such things, okay? Whatever the good habits you have, please sincerely write it down. Next <coughs> uh, question, why do you think we need to develop good habits? Write in detail. Why do you think we need to have such good habits? If we don't have such things, what will happen? So you can write it down in your notebook. And you can compare your answer with me. See, I think we need to develop good habits to be a successful, happy, and healthy human. So what is our ultimate goal to develop such good habits? The, our ultimate goal to develop such good habits, see, is to be a successful, happy, and healthy person. All right? Now, the last question. See, imagine that you had no problems in your life. Imagine that you had no problems in your life. How would life be different? Write a paragraph. Suppose you don't have any problem in your life. So, what would be the life? Okay. Well, whether the life would be interesting or not. Whether the life would be successful or not. So, what could it be? See, if I had, it is my answer, okay? You can write your different answers, no problem. If I had no problems in my life, life would be different from others. I would fully enjoy my life. At the same time, life would be boring and monotonous without challenges. Moreover, I would not learn to face difficulties and struggles to be successful. So if there is a mixture of struggle, you know, challenges, and if we become a successful person, I think the life becomes meaningful. But if we have same thing always, then the life becomes, you know, uh, boring, futile, you know. So, now, uh, I just like to give you an assignment, dear student, put it into practice. See, uh, what is the question? Make a list of your weaknesses and prepare a plan to overcome them for becoming a successful person. You know that we all are not very perfect. We are not 100% perfect. We have some weaknesses also. Please try to find out your own weaknesses and make a plan to solve or to minimize your weaknesses so that you can be more healthy person, healthier person, more successful person, and you can say uh, your life become happier. Okay? So this is your assignment. You have to do it. And next day, please show it to your subject teacher. teacher okay? If so, my dear students, this much for today. Uh, briefly, I just like to tell you that we have learned about uh, universal etiquette, universal behaviors, and we try to follow our good habits like getting up early in the morning, doing physical exercises, this, that, you know. So if we do so, then we can be healthy, successful, and happy person in the world. So this much for uh, today, my dear students. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.